Okay. Noise time. <laughs> Glenn Knight and I play guitar. I also teach actually. Uh, I've been playing for some 50 years and uh, played in many bands, played many styles of music and uh, in Britain, in Europe also and uh, loads of TV work etc etc and basically uh, at home <laughs> when I was really really young about that high I suppose um, I used to use my tennis racket as a guitar and I'd stand in front of the mirror and uh, <clears throat> sort of go through the motions, you know. <laughs> sort of hitting seven shades of whatever out of this tennis racket. to play rhythm guitar then alongside Dave in the Fugitives and this was wow I've made it you know <laughs> I'm playing alongside this guy yeah we were in this uh, this club in the valley just so definitely a Thursday night and uh, Top of the Pops was on the TV so we had to wait for that finished you know before we could start and this guy came on and <laughs> so we thought his name was Joe Hendrix because he was singing hey Joe where you going with that gun in your hand you know so <laughs> So I looked at Dave, so I thought, he, he's nuts. So anyway, uh, he, it, was, it was amazing. It was just absolutely incredible. The sound was awesome. It was like nothing you'd heard before. You know? He was really flamboyant and all these colorful clothes and stuff, although I think it was black and white in them days. But anyway, um, so that came, went, went and got bought the 45. And the B-side was just mind-blowing. It's called uh, Stone Free. Dear me, you know, which is where I, you know, I took that and called my band Stone Free. And um, it was just incredible. And that changed my whole way of thinking of playing guitar. It's actually uh, Jimmy's autograph, and he signed it as usual, love always, with a hard sign, Jimi Hendrix. Is the actual bracelet that Jimmy actually gave to a friend of mine, Terry Bennett, played with a band called Sassafras. Oh, and this here hanging around my neck is a, a ring actually that used to belong to Jimmy. Um, the back of it snapped off, obviously. It's really nice to have something else of Jimmy's, you know, the DNA is on it and stuff, so maybe a bit of the voodoo, you know, will rub off the vibe. <laughs> Whoa. 